Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to take a look on to the SNS trigger. Okay, before that, we will take a look on to our deployed Lambda 4 S3 bucket. S3 thumbnail generator, right? This is what we have written in the last video. And this Lambda has been deployed and we can see uh, the code here. Code is zipped because it's like a 16 MB code with these all these packages. And we can see the Lambda trigger here. Uh, if we just take a look on the function overview, this is the trigger, right? And we have created this particular resource and environment variable also populated whatever the environments we have created, right? Destination bucket source and the sizes. Okay. Now, I mean, this is, this is how it is working. Now we are going to take a look on to another use case of the Lambda trigger is S3 with SNS. What we will do is we are going to send a message we are going to send a message to the lambda to the sns topic and there will be a subscriber lambda which will be listening to the sns topic and will receive the message okay so it's like lambda sns lambda this is what we are going to do so we'll just write the permissions and all these things so first of all the stage is this profile is serverless user i mean your aws profile and here we will talk about IAM role statement. Okay, IAM role. IAM role statements. And here we will give the access to this lambda to actually publish something to the topic, right? So we have effect which is saying allow. Then we have resources. which is saying everything on what action so here we are giving a permission to actually access the sns resources in a particular region sns i mean you can specify the the sns topic the full definition but that is fine and now we will write the function functions so here we will add our functions like I'm going to have a two lambda function. One is a one is the function which will send message to the SNS topic. And here I have handler. And let's call this lambda as add note dot add note. This is the JS file we are going to create and add note will be the function there. Okay. Inside that we will have events. In events, what all events we are handling? The HTTP event. So this Lambda will be triggered. First of all, this add node will be triggered through maybe some API gateway HTTP endpoint. So we'll have the path and all the other attribute. Path will be nodes. You will send it using the post method. Method is post. And what is error here? Okay, we forgot the column and then cross origin is true. Now we have defined the lambda definition with the HTTP endpoint like this will attach to the API gateway and we have another lambda which is analyze not and it will also have the handler. Okay, we can copy the handler definition and with the handler we will have the event handler is analyze notes that can be the function name file name and the same as a function name okay events on which particular event this particular lambda will be triggered so it is a sns event and analyze notes this is the sns topic Okay, events SNS. Yeah, so this is our serverless.yml. Clean and simple. The permissions and we have a two functions. Now we will write our functions. One is analyze notes.js. This is the receiver lambda. Okay, and we have one publisher lambda which is add note dot js. Right? 
Now what we are doing here is in add node.js we will just import the AWS SDK and all these things. Okay, so const AWS equal to require AWS SDK. So we got the AWS SDK, we will create SNS equal to new AWS dot SNS. This is how we get the instance of sns sqs or any other particular resource and here module dot exports dot add note this is the function we have and this function is taking the same set of arguments or do we have event context and callback we can make it using a sync await also let's keep it simple for now and here we will get the data json dot parse event dot body because this is will be triggered from the api gateway so you are, might be sending some data some not in the http body re request and i will not do the validations that you are sending something in the body or not we can just use we can just simply push it to the sns so here we need to generate create the body of the for the topic this is my message which is data dot note okay and topic ERN this is important and you should have this already or you can create this resource using cloud formation resources okay uh, this is my topic ERN analyze notes right my topic ERN and this is my SNS payload and what I can do is SNS dot publish and we can i think convert that into the promise way sns dot publish and in the sns dot publish it will take your params and this is your callback if error is there we will just check if you are getting any error then we will return the error callback otherwise everything is fine so if error is there we will just do a callback and we'll pass the, the null with the different status code so here in this case status code will be 501 or something like that and headers application json content type content type is application json and your body right so body will be say what is the problem right unable to process message to sns topic something like that if everything is fine we'll just send a response with the 200 that's it so this is our lambda if there is no error then we will say everything is fine all is well and we will just write it now this add node what it is doing is it is just receiving the data from the http post and sending it to the sns.publish right and this lambda will be running on the aws console so we don't need to configure the aws secret and key i mean un until unless you don't you want to run this offline now we have analyze not okay analyze not is another lambda and analyze not will just receive the payload so it can be a simple lambda function where we are just receiving the records event.record0.sns this is how because the second one is the lambda trigger and they will receive the data from event.record0.s3 event.record0.sns event.record0.sqs this is how you get the data you are getting the message now whatever you wanted to do so this is like a processor lambda now after looking at this message you can again publish it to the sqs by sqs dot uh, publish message or send message there should, should be some method like that okay so this is a simple uh, thing we have created right using just uh, sns and the lambda trigger and we have already seen the s3 uh, thumbnails and written in the previous video right so this is the second use case we'll talk about the third use case which is about creating the authorizer lambda for your api gateway okay that we will see in the next video and we will also deploy this one uh, thanks everyone.